Every time he goes to Grandpa's place, games and laughter, song after song. Grandpa's place, a sharing, caring place to belong. A sharing, caring place to belong. Sally, knock knock. Um, <clears throat> who's there? Axe. Um, Axe who? Axe me nicely, I just might tell ya! <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, you who, Jason? Knock knock. Who's there? Um, avocado. Avocado who? Uh, avocado coal. <laughs> Grandpa, knock knock. Who's there? Isabella. Isabella who? Isabella out of order. Miles, oh, oh Miles, Miles, knock knock. Who's there? Annetta. Annetta who? Not a wise crack and you're out of here. Oh, yeah. Miles, it's your turn to tell a joke. Oh yes it is, isn't it? Miles, please. Oh all right, Sally, knock knock. Oh um, who's there? Loads. Loads of fun. Not. Oh, saved by the bell once more. Miles, it's your turn to pick. Oh, thank goodness. At least we'll be playing a good game. Oh, you never like the games I pick, do you? I must confess, I like a good game of Knock Knock. Yeah, uh, me uh, too. Well, all right, but I'll bet you'll really enjoy playing Mr. Know-It-All. Oh, that's appropriate. Oh, get safety. Well, he started it. Okay, everybody, settle down, settle down. Miles, please tell us how to play Mr. Know-It-All. All right. See, we'll each be given the name of an animal. Now, whether we know everything about the animal or not, we are the expert. So we're going to fib? No, it's pretend, okay? Fibbing is when you tell a lie and someone gets hurt. This is a game, so we're just following the rules. Mm -hmm. And the audience can also ask questions of Mr. Know-It-All. I get it. So if I s pull something like a dinosaur, I can tell them everything I know about the dinosaur. And if I run out of things, I can just make up silly things. Exactly. We're just pretending to know everything. I, on the other hand, know everything. I don't need to pretend. <sighs> uh, uh, okay, so... Uh, if I'm in the audience, I can ask questions of Mr. Norrell. You bet. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Professor Nathan Wombat Hooperman. Mm -hmm. Tonight, I will give a lecture on... Uh, elephants. Yes, elephants. Thank you, sir. Very kind of you. Elephants are the largest mammals that roam the planet Earth. Their trunks are very keen sniffing devices inside of them, helping them to smell for great distances. So, um, who's got bigger ears? Asian elephants or, um, African elephants? I'm glad you asked, madam. The African elephants' ears are biggest. How long do elephants live for? Oh, between 60 and 70 years, sir. Are they really scared of mice? I don't know. Why don't you ask one of them? Uh, um, I mean, <clears throat> uh, yes, sir, they're actually, they are afraid of mice. So, um, thank you very much for joining me today, and, um, <clears throat> good night. <laughs> Hello, I am Dr. Wilhelmina Spindosa. <clears throat> Veterinarian to the stars. <clears throat> Tonight I've come to talk to you about um, ostriches. Ostr <clears throat> ostriches. No. An ostrich is a bird, but it does not fly. No. It 
um, has very strong legs and often looks like it's dancing when it's really running. <laughs> Do ostriches really hide their heads in the sand? Oh, yes. Especially after they've been told a lie. Where do ostriches come from? Oh, uh, Africa. I mean, <clears throat> yes, they come from Africa. They really do. <laughs> Are there any other birds that don't fly? Oh, yes, the penguin for one. <laughs> well, this is all the time I have for you this evening. It has been a pleasure. And, uh, oh, before you go, please pick up an autograph picture of me for only $20. <clears throat> I am Milford P. Clodhoff. I am the expert of a renowned field of... Snakes! Yes, snakes, otherwise known as reptiles or serpents. Snakes are usually called scaly or quite, quite frankly gross by some people. Snakes don't see very good, but they have a great sense of smell. They flick their tongues to check their surroundings. Why are snakes different colors? Good question. They use their different colors to blend in with their surroundings. Why do snakes shed their skin? Because they're finished with it. Can snakes ever walk upright? No, no. Some snakes, like cobras, usually coil up when they're about to strike, but snakes usually just lay around and slide on their bellies. Thank you, Professor Klonoff. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for tonight. Tune in to my new cable TV show. What's that over there? <clears throat> I'm uh, proud as a uh, peach to be here tonight for the national fundraiser for rescuing the... Uh, cheetah. Cheetah, that's it. Uh, cheetah's an animal that can run uh, 70 miles an hour on land, and it's uh, a member of the cat family. But uh, it's undomesticated, which means uh, you can't keep it as a pet. Oh, no. Uh, cheetah can uh, run very fast, but it's not able to go full speed at long distances. Does that mean Miles is related to a cheetah because he's a cat? Yes, it does. Do cheetahs think they know everything, too? No, no. Are there cheetahs in the United States? No, not perhaps in zoos, but uh, they're really native to Africa, Southwest Asia, and Arabia. Mm -hmm. And you can read all about the cheetah in my new book here. It's called, uh, Look at Me, I'm a Cheetah. Hmm? And uh, uh, that's about all the time we have now before dessert arrives. So uh, I want to thank you for all attending tonight's event. Why, hello, and welcome to the national meeting to discuss... Eagles! Yes, which is why we call this Eagle Chat. The white-headed bald eagle is the symbol of the United States. States of America. The eagle is an endangered species, which means their numbers are few, and we must all band together to protect them and make sure they are not hurt or killed. Are there other animals on the endangered list? Yes, there are, but please note, none of them are plain ordinary cats. That's all the time I have. Please don't forget to leave your donation envelopes at the door. Ta for now. My game was so much more fun. Says who? Says me. In order to play my game, you actually had to use your brain. Well, I didn't use my brain once. <laughs> so I noticed. Hey, guys. You should stop saying mean stuff to each other before someone's feelings get really hurt. Yeah. Hey, Miles, CD's one of your best friends. Why would you want to hurt his feelings? Well... He hurt my feelings. Me? I played your dumb game. Maybe we should all take a time out. Yeah, I think we should talk about what's really bothering you two. Hmm? Miles? What's wrong? OK, fine. Knock knock jokes are silly. Well, Mr. Know-it-all is even sillier. But isn't being able to be silly when you're playing a good thing? You know, um, the kid has a point. Okay, yeah. fine. Captain Dog, I'm sorry. 
Well, that's okay. I wasn't very nice to you either. Instead of telling you how I felt, I just tried to hurt your feelings. I'm sorry, Miles. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, thanks very much. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good then. Okay. <coughs> We're sorry we messed up your game. Happy? Will you ever forgive us? That's what friendship's all about. When sometimes things don't go right, we have to say I'm sorry. And when you love someone, forgiveness comes pretty easy. So, Sally, what are we going to play next? Um, I think we should sing some tunes. Oh, yeah. Can we do, uh, country western again? No, um, I think this week we're going to sing in the style of rap. Rap? Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I mean, um, <clears throat> oh, what a terrific idea. <sighs> so, uh, Grandpa, what am I singing about? Sally, your song is going to be about hats. Hats? A rat. <laughs> Yo, Miles, kick it. Jason, you'll be singing about pineapples. Okie dokie. <laughs> His name T Frog, and he likes to walk on the beach. He's kind of brown, and he's kind of round, and he don't like wearing his leash. Word? Peace out. Captain Dog, the subject of your song is about donuts. Some around or glazed or even jelly. Nothing better than a donut in my belly. I gotta have the D to the O to the N to the U. We can't forget the T. So if you're sporting a glaze, be very afraid of cruising right in front of me. Need it. Alrighty, Dighty. Miles, you're gonna sing a song about. Gravy. Mmm, mashed potatoes, just so plain. Even though they're mighty tasty, what do they need? Don't make me say it, cause my mouth starts watering for gravy. Don't mind the lumps, don't be a chump. And just stop being lazy, hand me the gravy. <laughs> Over here. Dean Kane? Dean Kane! Uh, Captain Dog, uh, Grandpa called me. What a guy, what a guy! What is it that I can help you with? Well, just between you and me, two incredibly talented, really good looking superheroes, I'm having a bad day. Well, that happens to the best of us, Captain Dog. What's a superhero to do? Well, every day can't be the best day. No. No, and that's okay. Hey, you're a wonderful friend, Captain Dog, and that's what makes you special. Even when other people don't remember it, you just think to yourself. Yeah. 
I'm doing the best I can. Oh, you're swell, Dean. You know, there's just one other thing. I... And I didn't even get a chance to thank him. Ah, good job! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Grandpa's turn! Well, let's play the alphabet story. When it's your turn, you have to start your sentence with the next letter in the alphabet. Oh, this sounds most challenging. Now, you're gonna have to create a scene taking place in an imaginary place. So where are we? Oh, uh, the circus. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Okay, the circus. And I'll start with the letter A, Sally, you start with the letter B, and the rest of us will follow taking A to Z. Okay, uh, a circus is a great place to go. But of course. C, can't take my eyes off of it. D, don't you think the tigers are the most interesting? E, everything is so incredible. Fun, are we having fun? Gee, uh, oh, great jumping Jupiters! Look at those trapeze artists! Ah, <laughs> uh, H, H, happy, 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 happy. That's what I am, just plain old happy! <laughs> I. I'm starving over here. Look at me, these peanuts and popcorn is doing nothing for A. <laughs> <laughs> J, ah, uh, jelly beans, that's what I want for dinner. Uh, kangaroos aren't performing tonight. K, L, uh, Love those clowns and those little cars. <laughs> and my, uh, my favorite are the high wire walkers. Mm -mm. Mm. No way, you gotta dig the orangutans. Orangutans? I don't see any orangutans. Pal, I'm over here. Pal, P, Q, um, uh, Quebec is in Canada. Mm. Ah, really good information, Sally. <laughs> Sweet. Tell me, Grandpa, what do giraffes eat? Umbrellas. Giraffes eat umbrellas. You be uh, very interesting. Mm, why, why, why do birds suddenly appear? X-ray. That trapeze artist is going to need an X-ray after that fall. Mm. Yes. So, Zounds. Sounds like we're having a great day. <laughs> Zounds. Wow. <laughs> hey, that was hard. Yeah. 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 But fun. I mm -hmm. really had to concentrate. Uh, yeah, you really have to know your alphabet. You would say that again. Snack time! Yum! <laughs> what did you bring us, Grandpa? I brought some gravy! Really? <laughs> no, I brought some apple. Oh. <laughs> I love apples. Oh, oh thank you. Don't throw away. That's what I always thank say. Thank you. Oh, I love apples. Yes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away as the... Captain Dog. Mm. Uh, I really am sorry. But what? Uh, well, you are a wonderful friend. And so are you. I knew in my heart you weren't saying those things to hurt me. I'm sorry, too. Oh, oh come here. <laughs> and you didn't even have to send flowers. Or candy. Or a card. So wait, what is the best way to say you're sorry? Well, I just think saying I'm sorry is the best way. And throwing in a new skateboard couldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a new game. And it's Jason's turn to pick. Let's play Mechanical Orchestra. Ooh, I've never heard of that one before. It's easy. I'll be the conductor, and you all create the sounds of your machines. Oh, I'm gonna love this. When I point to you, you make the sounds of your machines. If I have my arms open, it means you all keep make your sounds at high volume. If I go like this, it means make your sounds the softer sound. Mm. Jason, you're gonna be a fine conductor. I hope so. Come along. Boom, boom, plop. Boom, boom, plop. Boom, boom, plop. Boom, boom. 
Vamos. Tinglingling, boink. Tinglingling, boink. You guys did awesome! <laughs> I love your game, Jason. <laughs> Grandpa, do we have any time for another game? Well, I think so, Jason. Yeah. Well, I think I should get to pick it. Oh, Captain Dog, knock knock. Who's there? Jamaica. Jamaica who? Jamaica mistake or are you wearing that shirt on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> Furball, sorry. Oh, Sally, knock knock. Um, uh, knock knock who? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you oh, <geez>. and me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, Jason, knock knock. Who's there? It's me, Sally. <laughs> Sheesh. You think you know someone. <laughs> Grandpa, knock knock. Who's there? Emma. Emma who? Knock knock. Who's there? Emma. Emma who? Emma bothering you yet? Miles, knock knock. Who's there? Thanks. Thanks who? Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Captain Dog, you who, knock knock. Who's there? My best friend. My best friend who? Uh, my best friend you. <gasps> Oh, oh shucks. That skits me right oh. here. Where do you go if you want to play it and learn some things along the way? Where do you go if you want to chat with a superhero dog, an aristocratic cat, and a silly squirrel? Three toys that come alive through a boy's imagination every time he goes to Grandpa's play. Laughter song at the song. Grandpa's place, a sharing, caring place to belong. A sharing, caring.